Hey, Prime family, Eric and Christy here. Today we're going to talk about a series of push-up progressions and regressions so that you can get more bang for your buck out of your push-up exercises. So first off, we're going to start with the ground-up push-up, which is you're actually going to do exactly what it says. You're going to start from the ground and work your way up. And if you look at Christy, she's got herself set up on the ground and she's ready to rock and roll. Now she's going to get tight and really flex her body as hard as she can and create the sensation of trying to push the floor away from her. Notice her shoulders were really stable, her hips were really stable, and her, her whole entire ab area was engaged. And if you look, okay, another really key component of this is where she sets up her hands. Look at her hands, how they're in line with her chest right here. They're not up here by her shoulders, they're not up by her face. She's got them in tight and in close by there so that her forearms, which are right here, are as vertical as possible. Because when you get that pushing motion into there, that creates a lot of extra force into the ground. Okay? So as she gets better at this push-up, uh, she can then progress herself to bring herself elevated. This is usually one of the first places we like to start people with push-ups. Do you want to show what people typically do? Oh yeah, <laughs> you want to see what a big no-no is for the ground-up push-up. We call it the worm. And so it looks like this. You kind of roll yourself out of the ground-up push-up. When she does that, you can watch, right? As you watch this visual, nothing happens here. She's not keeping, a lot of pressure is happening in here, but she's got no activity going on in her abs. She's not keeping her pelvis tucked. She's not keeping her glutes engaged. And so she's losing the purpose of the ground-up push-up, which is to find a plank at the bottom of the floor. As she fixes it, notice how rigid her body gets. And that's what's really important about the ground-up push-up, is to maintain rigidity through the whole process. So from there, once you've gotten good at that, one of the places we can take you next is to elevate you and bring yourself up so it's a little bit more of a natural push-up position. And so using our equalizer bars are a great option for this. And so notice Christy sets up in a perfect plank position but over top of the bars. And if you look, if we pretend that the floor is right here, right? So visualize the floor. As Christy comes down, look at her forearms. They're vertical as she moves through it. Okay? Now the other cue that we really like to use as she's maintaining this solid plank is to create the sensation of pulling yourself to the bars or pulling yourself down. As you do that, these muscles up here, known as your lats and your mid-back, your rhomboids, your trap muscles, stay engaged to stabilize your shoulders. And she can get into a really good push-up position here. As she gets better from there, we can then take one of the equalizers away or we can start to lower the height down a little bit in some way, shape, or form. And we can come down with your hands on the equalizer, okay, and create another push-up pattern here. One more. This is a great option too for anybody that might have any kind of wrist issues when they're doing push-ups, because this kind of helps keep your your wrists in more of a neutral position and doesn't put quite as much pressure on. Them. Lastly, uh, well, actually, two more to go. It's just the simple hands on the ground push-up. Okay, put your hands on the ground, lower yourself down, and maintain that straight line body. Everything is stiff, her neck's in alignment, she's not dropping her head down, her shoulders are staying really stable, and she's getting some really good push-ups there. Then, if you notice that, that range of motion she created was huge. The last but not least is to use the perfect push-ups. These are also a good option too if you've got wrist issues and your wrists don't feel good doing push-ups, but these can be a big upgrade to your push-up as well too because they require you to use a whole lot more musculature. She can create a little bit of twist out of the perfect push-up handles, allowing her to get much more scapular involvement in her push-up so that her shoulders stabilize. Also, too, I know for a fact when I do it with these, my chest feels like it's going to because <laughs> it's really tough. So, looking at those different things when you're doing your push-up, you want to see a really stable plank first. That's number one, making sure that we're not dropping our hips, dropping our head, and maintain the integrity and find where you are for right now, right? Make sure that you can find your level of where you are for your push-ups. I hope that helps. We hope that helps. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, we're here to help. Thanks.